Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is what we're making today. It's a gatefold card with a belly band. You slide it off and then open it up. Okay, so the following video was filmed live and you are welcome to fast forward through any of the chatter. If you need anything, let me know. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks a lot. Okay, so good morning. This is January 22nd, coffee and a card. Um, we are making a fun fold card today. We're using two stamp sets. We're using Honey Bee and Birthday Jubilee. Oops. So when I made the uh, scallop top box the other day, let me grab it. Um, people were asking about the scallop top, how to get that without buying the stitched Be Mine dies. And so I went through the catalog and I was trying to find another scallop top so i found this set it has the dies in there it makes this scallop top or scallop so it's a little bit bigger but it would work if you had this one okay so once i got this out of my off of my shelf then i'm like oh i really like this greeting i like this greeting i like this set um so we're using the two of these today yeah i think you're gonna like it Okay, we are using the bundle for the Honey Bee. We're just using the stamp set for the Birthday Jubilee. So I'm going to give you guys the measurements. We're going to start with basic black, and that is five and a half by eight and a half. There's that one. And then we've got basic black again, nine and three eighths by one and a half. And another piece that's two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. For Whisper White, we've got a five and a quarter by four. That's going to go on the inside of our card. And then some scraps for the greeting. And then I'm using Thick Whisper White for the bees. I have three pieces of the, mm, the celebration paper. I think it's called Golden Honey. Um, it measures, two pieces measure five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. And this piece measures two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay, so we're gonna start by scoring our card. Good morning. Okay, so on the eight and a half inch side, we're gonna score this at two and an eighth on both sides. So I'm just going to turn it around and two and an eighth. Now we're going to take the nine and three eighths by one and a half, and we're going to score it at two and five eighths on one side and two and a half on the other. I will warn you, I am bird sitting, so you might hear Skittles upstairs squawking a little bit. Right now, I think he can hear me talking. She can hear me. Oh, gosh. Brooke has two boy birds. Chase has the girl. So they have the opposite sex. But now I call I call them the wrong sex. I call Skittles a he and Gizmo a she. And anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to fold on these score lines and burnish it with my bone folder. It doesn't even look right. Let's make sure. I question myself when it's this early in the morning. No, it's right. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with the inside of our card. And we are going to take the happy birthday. And stamp it. right in the middle and then we're going to take the large B I may not have left my enough I may not have grabbed a large enough scrap piece of paper we'll see so there's that one then the little ones I'm going to stamp on this thick whisper white uh oh I, I think I messed that one up 
Let's see. Whoops. Let's try again. Yeah, I did. I accidentally raised the stamp and stamped it back down. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to be using the stitched shapes dies. That's my go-to. And we're going to be using the the bees, the detailed bees. We're going to cut out two littles and one big. So I'm going to move everything over and we'll cut those out. Does that have ink on it? It does. That's okay, it's two-sided. Let's do this. Okay, there's that piece. And then we're gonna cut out the... I think I might've called this a butterfly. It's a bumblebee. Who knows what I called it? Okay, now two of these guys, whoops, upside down. I think that's straight. Y'all can probably tell better than I can. Now let's get all of our pieces back in here. And for this, for the inside bee, I'm gonna take my uh, dark Daffodil Delight and I'm just gonna color the body. I'm gonna turn this over and take my liquid glue Whoa, wait, it doesn't really matter because we haven't put the designer series paper on yet, so. And then I'm gonna take a dimensional and pop that up and place it right inside here. Now we wanna add our designer series paper. Okay, let's see. Let me get myself organized here. Straighten that. Um, move that out of the way. I didn't stamp that. I was supposed to stamp it first. So let's go ahead and stamp it so it'll have a chance to dry. See, I love this stamp set. I love the greetings in this set. Okay, now. I got too many pieces here. I did make this card this morning. Every week I say I'm gonna do it the day before, but last night I cut for a couple extra of my Valentine class. I got all of them shipped out. Uh, the bingo packets shipped and people are getting them. And I decided I was gonna cut for just a few more packets for just in case someone says that they that they need it. So I'm like, okay, I'll just create my card in the morning. I didn't really know what direction I was going, but I'm happy that I pulled it off. <laughs> okay, so there's that part. Now, this is our belly band. So it's gonna go just like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue 
here. Rut row. Okay, hold on. It hasn't dried yet, so all is well. We'll hold it there for a second. Now we're going to add this paper to this basic black layer. I got to make sure I didn't turn my card upside down. I did not. Okay, so then this is going to get attached here. And so I'm just going to put... Um, liquid glue here and here. <laughs> this is gonna go in the center. So I'm gonna pop that up. Yeah. Uh, a lady um, that spoke at one of our on-stage events one time called a set in the catalog like a sleeper set. And I thought that was a good term because I think that you look at that stamp set and you don't necessarily think that it could, that it's, I don't know. I love sets that have really awesome greetings. So I agree. I don't think that everyone probably noticed that stamp set. Um, and I'm not coloring these guys because... This is gold. If we had that Versamark pen that we used to have before, I would color in his body with uh, the Versamark and then add gold embossing powder. I wonder if, um, I don't know. I wonder, I was trying to figure out how I could get Versamark on there. Anyway, he's just going to be uncolored. And we're sticking them right here in the corner. Hold for a second. And then which which way? Oh yeah, this one's gonna be flying down. And then we have to add a little bit of bling. So I'm gonna take my take your pick tool. And I tried using the champagne with these this morning and um i didn't i didn't really like the look okay so where's my card where'd i put these i was quite proud of myself this morning so there's a little bit of take your pick putty on there and this one goes down here and then this one goes up here need to advance my putty. I may be out. I have used this thing a lot. Okay, so here is our gatefold card with a belly band. So it slides off and opens up like that. Of course, it's hard to see online. Even in pictures, it's hard to see the Wink of Stella. But... I don't even know if even, oh yeah, it came out, yeah. Okay, no last minute questions. Well then you guys have a great day and if you need anything, let me know. Thank you.